I'm just floating around here at Crystal Beach, looking for something to do really. And then the scanner just went off and a ship is just departing Buffalo, which is about 16 kilometers from here. So I'm gonna ride out uh, 10 miles, 16 kilometers towards Buffalo. And uh, the ship that's coming out, she arrived yesterday into Buffalo and it is, I've got the name already, Great, uh, Great Republic. Uh, so she's making her way out. Uh, she just left literally her mooring about five minutes ago. So we're gonna head down there and uh, try and get some shots of her on Lake Erie. And she makes so well to uh, Calcite. I think it was Calcite that you read, which is 490 kilometers from here. down here to uh, Buffalo and the Great Republic is uh, just making its way out of Buffalo uh, Harbor uh, reversing it's a very uh, tight area to get into and it's gonna be hard for me to show you exactly because I can't go in there as I don't have my passport with me and I'm not registered so I'm gonna have to stay just outside the harbor here and uh, we'll watch it come out onto Lake Erie but uh, let's have a quick look so she's gonna make her way up to where I am in the uh, coming few minutes. All right, built back in 1981 in Wisconsin, uh, the Great Republic at the time was classed as probably the most maneuverable and most nimble ship in the world. It was designed to uh, navigate the rivers like the Cayuga River and places like that down by uh, Lorraine in Cleveland and so on. Um, and it's, that's what it did for many, many years, moving iron ore pellets and so on. And uh, now it's varying, varying other ports along the Great Lakes. This is the first time I've actually seen it here. Uh, I don't know if it's been here often before. I just noticed it on radar yesterday on uh, the vessel finder that it was coming in. And of course, I wasn't around at the time it came in, so I was just keeping an eye on it throughout the day today to see when it was leaving. And just sat there at Crystal Beach, I heard the uh, call go out that it's getting ready to depart. So here we are to watch this great vessel, the Great Republic, uh, exit uh, uh, Buffalo Harbor here in New York. Okay, after filming this, I found out it was its first visit in 25 years. The last time it was here was 1999. What a beautiful shot, eh? This close up, amazing. Great Republic, Wilmington, Delaware. I wonder if she's actually named uh, after the, uh, was it the biggest wooden ship ever built in America, which was called Great Republic back in the 1800s? I wonder if that's, I wonder if there's a connection between the names. Or it's just shared name, really. Got a crew member walking along here, and we got one at the uh, bow there, just walking to the other side, over to the port. All right, we'll try and get ahead of her a little bit so we can see what she's actually gonna try and do. Nice, it's gonna be pretty 
pretty neat to see because I've never seen a ship come out of a buffalo before. So this is new to me, uh, especially being out here as well, seeing how it maneuvers itself around, how it turns around to get itself into position. Now, does it back down towards the Niagara River or does it just reverse all the way out? <laughs> Time will only tell. All right, let's have a quick run around the front. Remember at the top just shouting to us up there, kind of cool. Yeah. All right, that sound is so good. Let's play it again. The American Republic. She was built in 1981 to meet all the requirements of the shuttle to the Cayuga River. She is 194 meters in length, which is 636.4 feet, with a beam of 21 meters, which is 68.8 feet, and her gross tonnage is 12,158. Unlike traditional freighters, all the accommodations are at the stern of the vessel, which puts the pilot house six decks above the main deck. From there, the captain can see the entire deck from the wheelhouse and can also look down at the propellers and the rudder action at the stern, like this action today. Looks like it's starting to turn now. It looks like she's going to go out there because the marker's way out that way. So the, the uh, green and red markers, and it looks like she's not lined up for them. So I've got a feeling she's turning. She's currently in 34 feet of water. Hey, up here. <laughs> Looks like she's bringing that round right now. The marker's way out there. You can see the uh, the stern now uh, coming over this way to its port side. But here we go. Or oh, even the bow thrusters, you can see uh, they're working overtime here on the port. So basically what she's got to do is a full 180 here. Look at the speed of how quick she turns. Holy moly, that was fast, you see that? That was super fast. I don't got that. Watch this, watch this as she turns.
look at the speed of it coming back round. Really puts into perspective how quick, how quick it's actually just turning. That's fucking awesome. Tell you what, that was pretty neat to see that. I, that was pretty cool. All right, she's virtually lined up. Now she's making her way out onto Lake Erie. And we're gonna try and catch up with her a little bit. She'll get some speed up before I, put, I head off back towards uh, Crystal Beach, before that mist gets thicker. two propellers on this ship and I'm really really feeling it you can see the two on either side and I'm getting pulled left and suddenly a hard right it's a really weird feeling it's unlike any other ship I've been behind it's gonna bring a bit more in the sunlight there we go a bit more sun on that There you have it, folks. The Great Republic leaving Buffalo, heading on to Lake Erie and heading west right now. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back very soon when I get the opportunity to come out on the water and get another video for you. Until then, until the next time, stay safe and uh, see you very soon.